Hello, and welcome to another edition of Tobes Tries. So today's video is the last item that I have for my trip to Mexico months ago. I've been sitting on this one and sitting on this one, and it's time to finally try it, and it's the perfect time because I just woke up, and yeah, we're going to have a bowl of cereal. And this is Fruit Loops, Kellogg's Fruit Loops, but it's tropical flavor. So it's uh yeah, it's not the traditional fruit loops, it's it's you know tropical flavored and it, it's all in Spanish. It's great. I I put this in my carry-on and brought it back from Mexico with me. Although interestingly enough, like the nutritional panel is all in English. So I don't know. Oh, they have, they have the Spanish one at the top, but then they have the English one at the bottom. But from what I've gathered, this is only available in Mexico. This is not a product that you can buy here in the U.S. I mean, you can probably, like, order it online, maybe. But I, I picked this up at... I'm trying to think of what store I was at when I picked this up. I can't remember. But I feel like... It was fairly cheap, like around maybe two or three dollars for this huge box. It's a full-size box of cereal. It's uh, fifteen point nine ounces or four hundred and fifty grams. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try this out. I'm really excited. So some interesting facts about Fruit Loops. Uh, Kellogg's introduced the original Fruit Loops in 1963. And there was only originally three colors, red, orange, and yellow. And then it wasn't until the 1990s that they added the um, green, blue, and purple to the mix. And one thing that's got me really hyped about this, if I can get it open. There we go. Oh, that would smell amazing. So... The way that Kellogg's markets Fruit Loops, you would think in the original Fruit Loops, like each one of the, the loops, you know, the red would taste like maybe cherry, yellow would be like lemon, orange would be orange, lime, you know, so on and so forth. They're all the same flavor. Kellogg's acknowledges that every loop in Fruit Loops is the same flavor. These, however, are not. These have mango, so on the back here, you can see, so it's got mango, what am I, mango, pineapple, banana, and orange. So there's f four distinct flavors in here. Oh my god, they smell amazing. I'm so excited to try these. I've been like sitting with this box in my kitchen for so long, just being like, oh, I'm going to get around to doing the review, and then you can just, you know, once you do the review, you can just eat them at your leisure. I'm just like, uh... I always like film these videos in like the evening and I'm like, I don't want a bowl of cereal at like 9 o'clock at night. I mean I do, but we got a little milk action going in there. 2% for anybody who wants to know. Trader Joe's 2% milk, you know, can't get too much milk fat going. Oh. Oh man, they just smell so good. Oh yeah. So like this light yellow one, that's definitely banana. And this slightly darker yellow one. I guess that's mango, maybe. I mean I assume the orange one is orange. And then the green one. Oh. Mm. These are fantastic, first and foremost. Um, they're definitely different tasting than 
regular Fruit Loops. I can sort of taste the different flavors. They, they do kind of all taste the same still, however. Um, like, I thought that one tasted, like, distinctly like banana, and then I tasted the next one, and it kind of tasted the same. Like, the green one, I don't know. what flavor this is supposed to be. But like as a whole, they definitely taste way different than regular Fruit Loops. Like they definitely have <clears throat> Yeah, so it says, Sam arrives with new flavors and more tropical fun. I also like how on the box here, you can see, like, they just call him Sam. Like, if you didn't know who Toucan Sam was, this dude's Toucan Sam, and, and there's his name. Also, they're using, like, the regular Fruit Loops logo, I just noticed. The purple, there's no purple in here. Um... There is green, yellow, and orange, though, but no purple in this box. Um, anyway, guys, yeah, thanks for watching. If you happen to, if you happen to want to try these, I mean, definitely go to Mexico. It's a beautiful country. A lot of good food there. Or, I'm sure there's probably somebody, like, reselling them online. You know, maybe check Amazon or something. And, uh, yeah. Try them out if you get a chance. They're really good. And like I said, I paid 2 or $3 US for this box of cereal. It's a huge box. And I brought it back in my suitcase. So there you go. Uh, I'm definitely going to like eat this whole box in one sitting because it's kind of how it goes with cereal, right? But um, like I said, thank you so much for watching. And we will see you in next week's video. And uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, that's cool too. That's your choice. And uh, go ahead and comment on the video whether you liked it or not. And uh, if you did like it, go ahead and subscribe. And uh, I'll leave all the links to the socials down below. And we'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.